you walk out um, onto stage and take your place on center. And it's a really magical entrance because you have the two lines of the corps de ballet, your swan sisters standing on each side. The stage is kind of dark. The audience is like completely silent. You can sense their anticipation. Um, and it really feels like you're just entering like another planet. Um, so you walk on, ha, 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 and then take your position. And we're going to start in tondu, quasi back, with an allonge, and you're reaching up. And then the music starts, and you tondu back, do like a port of breath close to your face. And then you do an extra, you have like taken a breath like, and you have an extra flap with some impetus. So we go like this, this is the preparation. And then you tombe forward. So the very first step is by far the hardest step. Um, it's the double rond de jambe that's so iconic and um, even for like principal dancers, this is a very challenging step. Um, I feel like I almost never do it as well as I want to. Um, but what we're aiming for, so you've done your preparation, tombe forward, and then we're gonna, you brush, you, you brush, you rise up onto a point, you do two rond de jambes, and then you develop and tombe. So be careful if you're on a slippery floor, and also try not to kick anything. So. Ideally, I should make the rond de jambes as big as possible. And also, ideally, we want to be able to tombe from point instead of coming down and then rolling. So just to break it down, we're brushing through first, we're rising up onto point, two rond de jambes, and tombe. And then the left side is always harder for me. Everyone has a better side. So that's the step that we're aiming for. Oh, how are you guys doing with that? Let me know if you have any questions. Um, you can just write them in and I'll try to answer. Um, so I think this step just requires a ton of practice. Um, but here are some things you can think about that'll make it more connected to the story. And I think that connection always helps with the technical execution as well. So when I tombe, what I think is that my arms are wings and I'm looking down over my wing into my reflection in the lake. Um, this solo is really a monologue, and um, it, Odette is basically your life. I, the way I think of it is you're having uh, this like internal struggle. Like you can also think of um, like the upstage corner back there being like the past, and then the downstage corner where you finish being the future. Um, but I think if you try to think of like two opposing forces pulling you, um, it just helps to give it some more depth. So anyways, okay, back to the steps. So we're going to do this. <laughs> you do the run jumps. Try not to kick anything. Uh, sorry, the third one you go. Stay up and close in fifth and bore it. Uh, backing up, sorry, don't back up, but step, step, PK. Step, step, PK. Uh, PK, pas de bourre, and bore back. Try not to hit the light. And then we're going to prepare again and repeat it on the other side. So just recapping the steps. So we did the preparation. And double run. Ba -da -dum, ba -da -dum, bum. Bum. Ba -da -dum, ba -da -dum. 
bum bum sue sue. Fifth, step, step, peak the attitude. Step, step, arabesque, bada beret, and beret backing up. You're looking down into the lake again. And prepare. So, the three brand de jambes, and then the transition on the third one, you close fifth and bourre, and then you do a susu, plie, step, step, attitude, pique, step, step, arabesque, pas de bourre, and bourre back, and tombe. And then we're going to do the other side, and double run, tombe, and double run, tombe. And double run and break and susu. Now we're gonna go to the upstage corner, step step, pique, supnu, step step, pique, and chasse, and attitude, and bore to the corner. So let's review the second side. And Double round, ba da da, da da, double round, tombe, and double round, and bure, and susu, plie, step, step, pique, sutenu, and pique, chasse up to the corner, attitude, and bure, and get ready. Or you can do these arms are really nice and get ready for the next di diagonal. So this variation's three sections. Um, most classical variations are three or four sections um, that can look really simple but are actually extremely hard. Um, actually, one second, I'm just gonna grab music really quick and then we're gonna try it with the music. music first. One second. Just go through the choreography on your own. Okay. Um, who are some of your guys' favorite Odettes? All right. We've got a video of Jillian Murphy here. And... How did we do? I know we're going through this really quickly, so it's hard to get all the details, but we'll just start with a sketch today, and then you guys can work on it on your own. Um, uh, for some reason, not seeing questions. I don't know. Anyways, okay, let's learn the next diagonal. Um, all right, so. We've gotten to the corner here, up here, and we're going to do two C sums, C zone, C zone. So the first C zone is smaller, and the second C zone is bigger. 
The first sea stone is in first arabesque. The second one is you're trying to fly away. And I think it's beautiful if it's slightly syncopated actually. So you go almost a little bit ahead of the music on the second one. So like, like, oh, and make sure when you get to this position, like bend, really bend and use your torso. It looks much more expressive to do that than something really upright. So here we are. And then I do a little coupe to prepare. And see some, see some. So does that timing make sense? It's like, da dum instead of da dum da dum You're going da dum just a little bit ahead of the music on the second one. And the second one is your full maximum jump. The first one can be a little bit smaller. So we're going coupe and uh, so you do two C zones and then you go bourre, step, tombe onto the right, bourre, tombe, and then we're gonna rise up to point, double a through to arabesque, and do your arms go crossed, up, and back into that like iconic swan position. Try to sustain it as long as you can. One thing that'll help is lift your knee. Think of lifting your knee instead of just lifting your toes. Um, so it goes C zone, C zone, bore in sixth position, bore. Step tombe, tombe, and arabesque. <laughs> Hard to talk while you're doing a back bend. Okay, so sorry, for some reason when I break it down, I'm like, wait, do I actually do that with my arms? I'm trying to remember. The arms go, okay, so the arms, it's through a fifth, through a fifth position. Um, and then you repeat it twice. So arabesque and then close back. And then you do again, sison, sison, bourre. And again, arabesque through to the air, uh, brushing front, passe, arabesque. Then we have another transition to get us up to the opposite corner. Um, so here you are. And then you, I just do very simple step, step. Pique arabesque. Chasse attitude, tombe bourre, and I do two flaps, two little ones. I go arms, arms, and then we're gonna go to the other side. So we're going bottom, 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 bottom. variation. Sorry guys, for some reason I'm not seeing your comments, but hope you guys are doing okay. Um, okay, let's, I'm going to put on the music and I'm going to do it again. Um, I'm going to be marking some of the steps because I don't have space. Uh, right, let me get the music ready. All right, everyone get ready in your tondu back for the beginning of the solo.
are you guys doing with this? I know it's literally the hardest variation, so don't feel bad. Um, whoo, baby. Okay, so going back to, before I teach you guys the last diagonal, I'm gonna go back and talk about some of the details. Um, oh my gosh, so like out of shape right now. All right, so um, in the very beginning, as, as you are Odette, basically in the story, you've been captured and transformed into a swan by this evil sorcerer. Um, but at nighttime, you revert back to a woman. So in this scene, you're actually a woman, not a swan, but you still have these like vestiges, these habits, because you've been trapped in a swan's body for so long. So, um, you can just basically make it your own. I think that's the beauty of this ballet. I've seen so many different interpretations, and I love seeing so many different interpretations because it would be so boring if everyone was the same. And um, you can just, maybe your Odette's a little bit more um, of a creature. Maybe she's a little bit more regal. Um, but I definitely think Odette is very passionate, and um, so we need to have a lot of dynamics. Like, even though it's adagio and controlled, when we're doing a step like bores, no lazy bores. I want to see, like, shivering, nervous bores like that instead of, like, lazy, soft bores. Same thing in the pas de carreau. It's, it's like maybe a hopeful moment. Um, but basically, every step is an opportunity for you to convey something about your character and Odette's journey. And the music um, can tell you a lot, so listen to the music. Um, so for the double round de jambes at the beginning, it helps me to try to just relax my knee. Um, if you try to like lock your knee and muscle it, you're gonna have a much harder time. Um, so just relax. And make sure you keep the round de jambes in close to your leg. Um, I always have a bad habit when I do the left side that the rounds are too far away. Ideally, it should be two clean, um, like textbook round de jambes. And then after the third one, like that shivering bore, step susu. And on that moment, think big eyes. You're opening your eyes and maybe you like heard something that startled you or made you nervous and you're you're covering yourself with your wing. You have this position a lot in Swan Lake and you can think that it's like protection. You're, you're trying to protect yourself and then you can still be looking out with your eyes open. Um, <laughs> On this attitude, um, step, step, attitude, even though you're gonna be in a more arched position, your chest still has to be pulling up. It's very easy to just wanna go like back, um, but actually then you lose all your expressiveness. So I want you guys to think of, when you do that, you're still lifting. Like there's a line from your soul out to the universe, like that. Step, step, arabesque. And then you can again be like looking down at your reflection. Like, okay. Um, so yeah, I think let's do all of the variation one more time from the beginning. And then I'm going to go back and teach you guys the pirouettes. And after this, I'll put a bunch of um, my favorite versions on uh, my story so you can like watch it and review the choreography on your own because I'm teaching it very quickly. <laughs> One hour is not nearly enough to under to be able to explain this variation. Okay, cool. So everyone. <laughs> uh, Oh, hey, Masha. <laughs> I know, maybe I should have a, a drink. Um, okay, so everyone, 
go back and get in your first tendu position. We're going to go from the top. exhausted just like marking it um all right okay so we're gonna learn the last diagonal um please please be careful guys I know most of us don't have a good turn I mean a good floor to turn on <laughs> not a good turn I'm sure you guys are great turners <sighs> oh no I don't feel like a swan I feel like a dying pigeon Elliot said that's okay, hon, we're gonna get there. I felt like a pigeon on day one, too. Okay, so, ooh, sorry guys. How about everyone take a sip of water? Hmm. Okay, so, we're gonna learn the last diagonal. I'm just gonna show you my version, which is not the same as what everyone does. So I'm gonna start in tondu back with my wing my wing is here, like that. So we just did the second side of the C zones. We did step, step, pique. We did chasse attitude, run up to the corner, and tendu back. So we're gonna go, leaving the arms, the arms are doing this. Little, light, like the waves of the lake, just little breaths, lifting under your elbow. And we're just gonna go step over, single, and single, and single. Sorry, I'm running out of space. So we're gonna do a single, and single turn, and single turn, and double with the arms up. And then from there, try to stay on point, close to still, and bore around. This is gonna be very hard on my floor, but I will attempt it. So, prepare. And single, and single, and single, and double, and bore, bore, and or de bras. So you go single, 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 double with the arms up, and then from the double, just like sustain, keep your hips square, and then you, lead with your right arm and your, tor your torso is curving around the corner. Like that. And left arm and right arm. So double pirouette, bore. If you have a ton of momentum, maybe you do an extra bore turn. You can just play with it. Bum, 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 bum. Then you repeat it again and step over, step over, step over, and this time, 
There are a few different versions. Um, this is a little bit tricky. Definitely do not try this if you're on a slippery floor because you'll fall. Um, so you're going to go in single and single. Then you're going to do the third one as a double instead of the fourth. So single and single and double. Sorry. And then from there, roll down on the left. Do a little PK forte. Try not to kick your table. And run back to the corner from where you started. And su su. So five, six, seven, eight from the top. And step over and step over and step over and double. And bourree, pour de bras. And step over and step over and double. And pique fouette. And run up to the corner and prepare. Okay, let's just try that much with the music. And like, honestly, you should probably all just be marking this. Not that I don't believe in you guys, but I don't really believe that we are all in good um, studios right now. Okay. Where are we? Where's Julian? Okay, this is the second side of the season. actually a very fast tempo because Jillian's a crazy good turner and we're using Jillian's video. I usually go a little slower than that personally, um, but it's exciting if you can do it fast. So, okay, so we did three, double, bore, and here, and single, single, double, pique fuete, run back to the corner, and you can either go back to your tondu, or you can go to susu fifth. Um, and this, again, this diagonal, it's like that feeling, that like push-pull of, maybe it's the past and the future, maybe it's like, you know, the, the, when you have two conflicting emotions battling inside of you, like one saying do it, one saying don't do it, it's that feeling of like, pu being pulled back and forth. Just saying it through pirouettes. Um, okay, so so you did the first set, and then we're gonna go. We run up to the corner and prepare. And now the tempo picks up even more, and we just repeat it again. Same thing, and single and single and single and double and bourre. Arm, arm, and same exact thing again. Hand single and single. And a double and chaine arabesque. And that's the end. So second time, just three singles and a double. Bore, bore, bore. Single, 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 double. Chaine, chaine, chaine. The end. So, okay, let's try the whole diagonal all together.
God, you guys, they loved us. Um, okay, so did you guys get it? Um, okay, how about now I'm gonna, if y'all wanna ask me any questions about this variation, just type them in and I'll try to answer some. And then I think we should do it all together. One more time with the music, taking it easy. Um, yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions. Huh. Yay, people are dripping in sweat. Tips for turns. Um, I don't know, it's really hard. Uh, hi, Zoe. Um, is the attitude a PK or releve? It depends which attitude. Um, I know stepovers are so hard. Um, okay, I'm just gonna, let's see. for you. Um, I know my friend Skylar at ABT made a pirouette video, so maybe go watch that. <laughs> uh, oh wait, what did he say, Zoe? Tips for doing it with a toddler in your arms. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have any tips for that, but I'm sure you're crushing it. Um, when did I first perform this? I first performed it um, like almost seven years ago. Um, so, or no, maybe almost 10 years ago. Wait a minute. It's been, yeah, I've done it for many, many years and many performances. Um, okay, so I'm here. Okay, so I'm, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go through it one more time slowly, and then we're just gonna do it once through uh, with the music. Um, Someone's saying, I'm really trying to work on the emotion. Can you give me some tips? Uh, I think like a lot of the emotion, honestly, is just given to you from the music. If you listen to this music, the way it builds, um, at the beginning, it's so quiet. It's like a still lake, and you could just hear like, um, like if something, someone dropped a pebble into the lake and there were like ripples spreading out. I feel like that's the vibe when you start and then by the end you're you've worked yourself up into like a fervor really um and the music like builds and builds and you're doing fast pks and um i think what it is is like you finally are like letting hope take over you're like finally believing that maybe there is a way out of this like miserable life that you've been living for however long. Um, so, all right, let us review it for the beginning, from the beginning once, and then dance it once. I'm gonna play the music both times because I think the music helps like to um, remember steps. It helps with muscle memory. And if you um, wanna review it afterwards, uh, I'm just, using the ABT recording of Jillian Murphy, which is like a pretty similar version to what I do. Maybe I can post a video of myself doing it so you guys can have a version to review. Okay, so here we go. We're going to review it and then we're going to do it.
tip for balancing the arabesque at the end. Irina Kovakova always tells me to get the arm ready first. So you're like preparing the arms before you're even in your full position. Because if you do it at the same time, you can throw yourself off. And if you do it later, then you're really going to throw yourself off. So just to break it down, shane, shane, shane. And you're preparing the arms with like from the elbow and arabesque. So on the plie, you're already getting into it like that. Okay, so are you guys ready for the grand finale? I'm gonna try to do it once. Um, try not to kick my table right here. Please be careful, everybody. Let's do it one more time all together. And then you guys can just continue to work on it on your own. Okay, everyone ready? That was pretty scary. I, yeah, I really hope, I feel like, honestly, it's not a good idea to do this full out unless you have an actual ballet studio. So please be careful. Use your discretion. I think I kicked my light and my table a few too many times today. Um, well, yeah, thanks so much for tuning in, guys. That was really fun. I hope it, like, gave you an understanding of like what the heart and soul of this variation is all about, at least like what it means to me. Um, and like I said, the beauty of it is there's so much to discover for yourself. So, um, wait, what'd you say? What? Oh, okay. My friend Zoe said, what makes my Odette mine? Oh, that's a good question. I think, um, I think my Odette's like very passionate, honestly. Um, and I think I try to, yeah, I try to like maintain dynamics, even though it is so adagio, like in the Padida as well. Um, it's like that never ending, like, uh, sustained violin song. And so I try to convey that, but then still have like dynamics moments that are a little sharper or like more creature-like. Um, 
to just like, so it's not so even and bland, like it's really boring to just see someone being miserable for an entire act. So I try to show different levels in my Odette, like um, different, just to show different emotions that she's going through. So it's not just like one note throughout the whole time. And again, I don't consider myself to be like a finished product in this ballet. It's definitely a career long journey and I love it so much, but um, the beauty of it is like, I never get sick of rehearsing it because there's always so many more layers to uncover, so much more to find for yourself. So thanks so much guys. I hope you had fun. I hope no one like got um, too, I don't know, hope no one like got hurt trying to do this in their living room. <laughs> Um, all right, well, yeah, I'll, if you guys like this, I'll do another variations and you can tell me which one you want me to show. All right, love you guys, thanks.